Hi there, it's me Silvio with High Rise Industries back in Hampton Base for the continuation of this project. Let me show you what happened since I installed 35 pilings underneath this house. As you guys can see, the foundation has been built and this house is ready to just get lowered into a new foundation wall. Now this house has been elevated to the new flood level. We are in a V zone. I'll show you guys around. That's the creek. Show you guys a little bit more. That's the Great South Bay back there. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit. That's Dune Road on the other side. Okay, let's go back to this project. As you guys can see, the foundation has been done. I'm going to get a little bit up close and explain to you guys a little bit what has been done here. Below this foundation, right here, there's a two feet by two feet grade beam. Underneath that, there are helical pilings that were installed in this area here. The pilings went down to 30 to 35 feet. The average was about 20 to 25 feet on this project. Some areas were down 15 feet. Some areas went down 20 feet. Some areas went down 30 to 35 feet. What you see here, these are the box outs. So it's going to be lowered down. And so they, they create these box outs for the house to be lowered down for these beams to be removed afterwards. This house right now is still sitting on cribs. Let me show you guys here. These are also box outs for flood vents. Now these flood vents are going to alleviate it for future storms. If ever we get storm water in here, okay, these flood vents can alleviate the water pressure. It's actually it's called hydrostatic pressure. Water comes in, water comes out. Just in case we get flooding again like last year's Hurricane Sandy. It's a different view. I'm going to try to go back inside this basement. Not really a basement anymore. What do you see here? These concrete blocks. These are piers. To resupport this house, once these I-beams these are removed, all these cribbings, I got to be removed so to lower this house down. This house is going to be supported on a new foundation wall that was poured with a great beam underneath it. These piers. These are actually two feet by two feet pile caps that you guys see here. Underneath that, the helical pilings that I installed, we attained the foot pounds of torque of 4,000 psi. And now you can see, I'm just ready for the next stage of this house is going to be lowered. Quite an interesting project here. This is the future for all the houses in the V-Zone. Houses in V-Zone or A-Zones, this is the future for them. They need to be elevated because of uh, ins new insurance regulations. This homeowner here, I think he did the right thing. Elevating his house above the flood level. Actually, the FEMA flood level. The new FEMA flood levels. That requires houses to be elevated one foot above the new flood level zones. Different view. Now you could see how close we are to the water here. Right now it's low tide. You know, we have a... Uh, million dollar view here. Uh, this homeowner here is trying to uh, protect his investment. A house on the water like this with this piece of property will clearly worth millions now after this house has been elevated. And this is clearly the smart thing to do. Okay, protect your investment. And even if he... Uh, doesn't live here anymore. If he wants to sell it, 
Now he clearly has a uh, selling point. His house now is elevated. Insurance premiums are quietly lower than everybody else's. Just take another close look here at where his house once stood and where it is now. This is a uh, single car garage. Okay, it remains at the uh, existing level. By the way, that's where it was was standing. That's where his house was standing. Now, it is almost nine feet above. Take a look at the uh, these pockets. The new flood vents going to be installed. These flood vents going to have louvers. They will operate once they come in contact with water. They will open up this way, alleviating the hydrostatic pressure, water, the water pressure from exploding his new foundation. Okay, from inside out or outside in. Let me turn around. Back in here again. Show you guys a little bit our surroundings. Cleaner right now is low tide. You guys can see the bottom of this water. Beautiful setting in here. Breathtaking. Look at it. Those houses up on the hill, they fared a little bit better than these houses on this side. When Hurricane Sandy struck last year, around this time, it's been a little bit over a year. Let's come around this way, show you guys the new setting of this house. Clearly visible, one house, and then the other, and the next one, right next to it. This, the new reality for a lot of houses and communities along Long Island. This that needs to be done. This property needs to be elevated now a little bit. So the grading will adjust to this new house. The water one year ago came above this bulkhead here. Three feet above this bulkhead. And came across and devastated this house. All of these houses got devastated. Some owners decided to elevate. Are this Decided not to yet. This is the final setting here. I come around. I'm going to show you guys the final result of this project here. Once again, my name is Silvio Robello, president of High Rise Industries. If you guys need helicopter installations or a uh, brand new foundation port. And your house has been lifted, do not hesitate to call us. Our phone number is 516-250-2515, or you can look us up at on the web at helicopilesnewyork.com. Thank you for watching this video. I see you soon on our next project. Thank you.